Hi, I'm Kim Mayberry, and I am an avid Audible book reader, and I thought I'd start sharing the books I read. I read, I came on to Audible probably midway through, probably April of last year, um, and just fell in love with it. I love to read nonfiction, I, and my wife loves to read fiction. I don't. I love to read nonfiction, and most of the books I read are basically business books. And what I found is I read about two books a month. And so I thought, well, why not share what I'm learning with other people? And so this, this past week, I was in New Jersey uh, visiting some of our uh, estate planning um, auto firms that we've done documents for, just kind of getting their feedback, understanding what's working well, what's not. And during that time, I had probably about six hours of drive time between appointments. And so I was listening to Malcolm Gladwell's Outliers book and loved it. Started out, not so sure. Um, he was talking to, he really is known for the concept of it takes about 10,000 hours to, be, to perfect your craft. And it, Really, it took me a little bit to get into it, but once I got into it, I, I was hooked. I, I was turning it on any moment that I was in the car so and listening to it. So I, I thought I'd share a few things that I learned during it. Um, and part of this comes down to is I read a book a few years ago, ago called Innovator's DNA. And in it, it's by Clayton Christensen and Dreft Dreyer and Hal Gregerson. And in that book, they talked about a lot about associative thinking. And so when I'm now reading a book, I'm thinking, how does this apply to me? And how does it apply to what I'm doing? So I don't always get the exact same thing that the author's intent is out of the book, but I get what matters to me. So I thought I'd share what matters. Um, he, he, he goes through in the book, he starts out with 10,000 hours, talks about the hockey leagues and in in Canada and how basically you have to be born in January or February if you want to become a national hockey player. But I, I and I've heard that story before, but what here's some examples that I thought were interesting, uh, specifically about Bill Gates. So and I loved how he how Malcolm used Bill Gates and how you know Bill just happened to grow up in Seattle, just happened to be born in 1955 with, along with Steve Jobs and other people that actually are the main players in the, the PC market. He just happened to have unlimited access to computer time. He just happened as a teenager and just happened to um, become great friends with Paul Allen who also loved computer times and just happened to be able to start creating software as a teenager. And it was just interesting to see all these things weave together and how the experiences that Bill Gates had as a teenager really shaped who he was. It did build up his, his skills and his ability to basically uh, be able to build Microsoft into what it was today. Next story that really hit home with me, and I didn't expect this, was the story about Joseph Flom. He's an attorney in New York, and I work with a lot of attorneys, so it really stuck out to me. And I am seeing changes happening in the attorney market today, and the story of Joseph really hit home to what's happening today, and we can apply it. So some background on Joseph. He became partner in what is now... When he started, is known as Skadden, Arps, Slate, Mager, and Flom in 1954. He basically, after leaving law school, he tried to get on with what what you'd call the top tier firms in New York City. He couldn't get on. He was he had one thing against him, and that was that unfortunately he was Jewish, which later end up being what built his firm into a 2000 attorney firm but um, because of the experiences he had but and I'll talk about that a little bit more but he went around trying to get on with these top tier firms what 
what Malcolm calls white shoe firms, and he was rejected by him. And basically, they told him no. He didn't fit into the stereotype of what they were looking for in a in a lawyer. And he so he he gets to Marshall Scadden, Leslie Arps, and John Slate, and they they offer him a job. He takes it. And this four firm, four lawyer firm, grew into what. It, it, to one of the largest firms in the United States. Um, and in 1999, uh, American Lawyer named it one of, named him one of their top lawyers in the, of the century. So he really had it had an amazing right. But you know things didn't start out. Um, you, you really had to get a little bit more of an understanding. And Malcolm does a great job of kind of going into his background. His parents came from Ukraine right after World War II. They had experience in the garment industry back in Ukraine. They get to New York City. They start looking around and seeing and realizing that they have quite a bit of knowledge about how to produce garments. So what do they do? They start their own business. They started out just baking aprons. You know, they, they went out, looked at what what styles were there and figured out, well, no one's really making aprons for these little girls. And so they started doing that. And then it grew. And they grew the, the, their comp, they basically grew into a little company. And Joseph grew up in this environment where he, he saw his parents struggle, but his parents basically were able to take something that was hard and then convert it into something that worked. Well, Joseph went on to law school. And, you know, it it's interesting. So then he had the experience of not getting on with other firms and having to go to this four-person firm and everything. But we really miss the story in what it is that, it, what, what it was that Joseph from had in him. And it was his ability to see things and to see opportunities to move forward. So... I would really recommend, and I put a link to the blog post down below, um, Andrew Bolson uh, did a blog and kind of goes into more of the story. But, And I'd recommend reading that. I'd also recommend Malcolm Gladwell uh, reading the book Outliers. I think you'll really enjoy it. But here are the three lessons that I learned and I've got a, from this book that I... I really, really liked. And they are, you need to practice what it is that you want to perfect. That's really key. The 10,000 hours, I, I can solely see it, it making a difference. As you practice, you get better. Um, each of us has talents that we can use that can get us to where we want to be if we will only fo focus on those talents. Sometimes we focus on things that are outside of our talent base and that's when we usually get in trouble and so if focus on the things that we're good at and we'll get better um, and the biggest thing is is surround yourself with good people in each of these stories Bill Gates uh, Joseph Frum and all the other stories that he had in Outliers reiterated the fact that if you surround yourself with good people you'll make it and do better. So thanks for watching my blog post. Look forward to giving you my next read here in the next couple of weeks. Thanks.